Great night, great night, my kings and queens. Wake up and be authentic. On the done race and a girl, authentic Queen Simone. Come for drop some authentic spiritual reasoning. In the night here, so I could just go straight up into it. So tonight we're going to talk about stop shrinking to fit into places that you don't belong. Let me repeat. Stop shrinking to fit into places that you don't belong. We as human, we always long for this sense of belonging we always want to belong to something to someone some attachment nothing is wrong with that because you know we're all connected to each other and stuff like that but at the same time what is it worth to fit into somewhere where the people them are like you where the people them don't accept you for who you truly are where you have to water down yourself dilute out your authenticity to be accepted by a group or society or somebody who we deemed as important. All of we important. All of us important. All of we are kings and queens. You know, oftentimes we humans, I'm kind of understand the concept. Because when you look upon society, you know, and you look upon self, and when you look upon yourself, I you say, you know, but after that way your own mistake is not accepted by society. After not so society talk, after not so this do, after not so this that do, I start question who you are based on society's criteria and based on society's standard. Someone asked me one day, they said, what is your greatest accomplishment? I said, my greatest accomplishment is loving and accepting myself for who I truly am. Because a lot of times, persons say, my greatest accomplishment is knowing who I am. You might know who you are, but you might not like who you are. Because most of the parts... Most of the things that we like about ourselves are because people like them, you know. Are because society like them, you know. That's why we like them, you know. For example, some persons would have said, Oh, you're more too loud and this and that. Tone it down and Ray, you need to tone down. You need to this, you need to that. But let me tell you this. At the same big loud mouth me I use right now, I talk to them and I inspire my authenticity and them. At the same big mouth me use and get myself out of trouble and stand up for people and stand up for myself at the same big mouth me use and speak up and get what I want sometimes the same big mouth can put you in a trouble but hey everything have a side effect so when I go to tone down my mouth and tone down myself to please you and to fit in with imperfect people who use style it like me we are human beings so a lot of times we hate the things about ourselves where people disguise where, where, sorry where people dislike in a way not for the time and we hate it in a but let me tell you this you see the thing on the door like about yourself? Sometimes I eat and make on a great. Sometimes I eat and make on a great. So my greatest an- accomplishment is loving and accepting myself for who I am. Not only knowing who I am, you know, but loving and accepting it. Because as I said before, you might know yourself, but you don't love yourself. You only love the parts of yourself. Society say, I that to the good side to you. I that to the good, good side of you. I that to the goodness side of you. But everything works. Everything has a side effect. Because look into it. You go dilute yourself and go shrink yourself. The puppy can shrink itself for the, in order for the, for, the, for, the, for, the, for the black pepper make the food taste good. No, but balance everything. It have its salt. You mix up with a little paprika. You mix up with a little um, cayenne pepper. Or some people might use black pepper. A little all-purpose. Depends upon where you have to cook. A little oxtail season. You have to cook your ake fish. A little tomato. A little onion. Yasa, a little something. Yasa, and all of that combined together make it all very great. But let's say the sweet pepper that try to be the onion. They know how that did go taste. Make a lion walk coming in your house now. And you know it's a lion more big. Rawr, rawr, and make a bag of nice. But make a lion come in your bedroom now where you hear the lion the pan. Me how? Me how? You never run out of your house and think you want to be there in the lion. Because lion no talk so. That is not a lion. No lion no talk so. Lion goes a roo on them vice. Big. Cat go meow. He go meow. So you never jump out. But what? When the lion make nice door, you're going to say, the lion love make nice. But as soon as the lion change into one cat voice now, the lion is not the lion anymore. The lion has lost its, in, it, uh, the lion has lost its unique individuality. See him where with we too, we cannot please everybody. God make all of the animals and know what I make. All of us, the way I make, we ever see the hand, your hand compete with the foot. The hand play the purpose, the foot play the, pur- the, 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 the foot play a purpose. So the shrinking thing for try to sit on a people table and for try to be accepted by people. Some of the time these people will try to impress them life miserable. The money put on a facade. A lot of persons is not, is, isn't that polished as they appear to be. You don't know people. Remember, you know, a close save enough for we, you know. If close enough shame, you know, a whole heap of we want naked, you know. Classism and them something there. 
make no for we believe say oh i am better than you because i have this i am no man no more than nobody upon the face of the earth because when we did a congo worm i'm gonna eat we wear food for worms some away i go get burn up meaning that uh, uh, ashes and so forth but at the end of the day you come as son and son you should leave is where the impact where you leave upon the human and the life where you did live so when person say, oh, when God come, God will go judge we and all of these things, you know, God will go judge we. I don't believe say God will go line we up and judge we, you know. Karma is our judge. Where you reap, you sow, where you put in, you get out, and that's how we judge. We don't need God for come line we up. Once you go spiritually, understand, say, understanding karma is one of the beginning of wisdom. Come, you can't tell us how only for karma to affect me get for what me say about people and what me do to people. But when you go spiritually and have spiritual depths, you will understand that real true seekers real truth seekers under understand the law the law of the universe you can't run from it is everything is energy where you put in you get out it they in a nature god show it so this thing you know where we're going like say we want to come shrink yourself and shrink in for fit into places where we don't belong and all of these things and 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 eat at somebody's table and they say that you're not qualified to be at my table if you don't use knife and fork what the difference if me use my hand and my toe, my teeth and eat? The final destination is a cesspoon truck. What's the difference if me use a knife and fork and put the food in my mouth? The food I go crush up, it will go down in my oesophagus and it will go down which part it must go. Why should I... But can I use knife and fork? Right? Why should I try to please people by eating with the fork? I when you look now, me I go like say me I try to you now. Lick off the people, them eyelash now, you're in a big, 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 lean star observer say, Queen Simone, Fling off the, you know, she couldn't cut the meat and me come a big laughing stock. Let me just be myself and go on the way me I do. And if I choose to use knife and fork, I will. If I choose to learn about it. But, you know, if say Jesus, he'd use him and. And, and me see my pick up the bread and he's sitting with I eat. And why I use Jesus is because person see Jesus as the divine. As the divine one. Even all of criticize and judge people. They see him as the divine one. So that's why. People like to use it as an example because they you know say man write the Bible, you know. Man inspired men of God. But members of them write it based on for them perspective and for them interpretation. You understand what I mean? But based on the interpretation where me come from, me not see God take up the knife now, enough Jesus take up the knife and the fucker. I'm, I'm on me see me use eat and me never see him drop down dead when time I use him and I eat. Me not say you forgot eat with other people table, but if I and you eat with, and you should eat with because when I notice with people. You see, depending on your status and where you are in life, you get treated differently. So let's say Barack Obama come down and Barack Obama take up a piece of chicken. He go out one big, big event over Pegasus and him take up a piece of chicken. I say, Dr. Earthy, him come and him, him put it down and him just, you know, eat it and that is so good. Let's say L.A. Lewis go, go do the same thing. L.A. Lewis a madman. Where am I do right here, sir? Him, I, I want him to come here, sir. Go and leave and send out the security. But Barack Obama is down to earth. Why? Because him have the title when he president. You don't have to sit down and eat at everybody's table. Not everybody juice and not everybody water are going to quench your thirst. Sometimes you don't know if people in a yo. You see people, I have run up in inner them from a human perspective. Hi, I see you. You know, I always see you on social media so and so. You know, we don't even know these people. And then them start look down at you and start reject you and start give you a cold shoulder and start to give you to look like, why is she calling me? How dare she come up here and say this and that? Let me tell you something. Stop eat a table with people who want to belch out the authenticity out of you. Galang you and go cook your own dinner. A lot of persons say, I'm, I'm not going to invite her at my table because she's not qualified. It's not that you don't qualify for go at them table. It's because they're intimidated by your light. You think say you, 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 you underqualify or you overqualify? Them don't see when you go in our room, oh, 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 um, everybody look for you. Them don't see that already. Them don't see the effect where you have. Because sometimes your integrity and your authenticity outweigh them, them degree with them have. And them so-called status with them try to live by. Yeah. All of the great man them. Malcolm X. Marcus Gavi. Emperor Ali Selassie. I, Martin Luther King. All of them people there. Frederick Douglass. 
every one of them people there Booker T Washington all of the people them name you can call Louise Bennett Harriet Tubman all of them great great people and of course authentic Queen Simone all of those persons had their own unique individuality all of them have them own unique individuality when you watch Gandhi Gandhi is soft-spoken Gandhi is like oh yeah no you can't hardly hear when Gandhi attack but that is his individuality. Him not try for sound like a, 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 a Martin Luther King. Say, I have a dream for him. Something sound different. Nelson Mandela sound different. Him count him word. And we the African people has to go and start. You never see me try to talk like Fidel Castro or Hitler. Thing that him not play. Him straight to the point. Him does hit you with it. Theme words them hot. Malcolm X him not play. You never see me try for sound like Muhammad Ali. And Muhammad Ali will have, have, have him fly word and him punchline them and you know all of them look at things there. You do know, see Marcus Gavi I try to talk like him. You do know, see Frederick Douglass I try to talk like Booker T. Washington. And you do know, see authentic Queen I, 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 I try to talk like Les Brown. Even though Les Brown and my mentor I'm a love, I'm a love Les Brown. And I him inspire me for the audio. But I'm not going to do my audio like him. I'm not going to wear a red tie like him. Because I'm not Les Brown but I got the inspiration to make audio. That's where I got because for the first time I hear on motivational audio, it was Les Brown audio in my ear and it inspired me so much and touched me to my core. And then I said, wait there, I saw me that one can make audio and touch people too, you know. And that is how my audio journey starts. But I never had to shrink myself for start the audio. I never had to shrink and fit in. Even if me use one and two times, I probably said two look or something where Les Brown say. But at the end of the day, I still never shrink me because I still never say it in my own tone, my own way, my own voice. And everybody I go on your melody. And everybody I go sing your tune. Just be you as anywhere. Dance to your own beat. Be different. Stand up because you're different, remember? You, know? you is a combination of your mother and your father. And your grandparents, kind of, and your bloodline, along with your experience. Nobody never experienced what you experience. Even if you're a twin. Yeah, your twin have the same experience. Because when your twin daddy are asleep, when your twin are sleeping at the house, you always have the twin with all like sleep and the twin they experience something different. When that one they gonna sleep, the next one wake up. Two different experiences. One on the chest of draw and one day underneath the dresser. Two different experiences you get from the chest of draw under the dresser. Some authenticians who don't have to shrink on yourself to fit into places where you don't belong. Go in any room as yourself. The universe responds to authenticity. The universe are the gatekeeper. It's not no one specific person and a gatekeeper. The universe, all you do is just line up your purpose, line up your dreams and your vision, and the universe will send the person who belongs to you by divine right. Ask the universe for a sign. Say to the universe, say, universe, when the person will come, for come, you know, with a bless me, the person we are going to send for bless me, give me a sign. Make them wear a purple shirt or something. I mean, I tell you, say, it, it work. Because enough time when tell me you want something, I say, God, if this something is for me, make me feel my blood run cold and make me tell you it always work. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word is God, death and life in the power of the tongue. Speak out your something. And I know one person say, now if you itch up on people, if them for help, if them for help you in the future, God will go help. If them not for help, them not go help. Because depending on your core value and the energy where you are bring, maybe the person who you want to fit in with, your core values don't match with for them own. Anything forced into manifestation will never last. When I'm on in a day at one place, it's going to mash up and crash up and pop down. I saw it work. Me know when I talk about them people are invited to them table and I say you, you're not qualified. Because they go once, all right, for me now, they probably go once to me a buto. Because through me talk the, the language and so forth. Yes, the patwa language is known as buto. But me know so that buto is a very intelligent buto. You understand? And I'm going to want to use that as the excuse. And I'm dying for my mess up for say, you see why I did not invite her at my table because she did this and she did that? Remember, these are imperfect people. And that's why you never invite me, Miss or Sir. You never invite me because you see the light where I have. Because the light not shine on me. No. The light shine in you. And the light of your confidence and your authenticity. So when you can know, say, a bus you take go to some event, a taxi you take, the taxi front bumper come off. And you can come out at half price, you buy your clothes, at downtown you buy your something, and you put them together, make them and print them, go in, wash your files here, put out your little something, come out with a little $2 bag where you buy it online, and step in, and you outshine them and them in a Gucci, they're not going to say, no, 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 not in my cabinet. 
Not because something is wrong with you, but because them can't angle the light. Them can't angle it. They're put on them shades, take it off back, put it on back as your light is so shiny to blind them through the lens. All of we are kings and queens. The whole of my authenticians, them are kings and queens. If you're looking at my phone, they want a queen this, you see. Queen Manju, Queen Tina, Queen Mika, Queen Tia, Queen Stephanie. I call a whole heap of people queen in my something. Queen, 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 queen. And then you have, oh, whatever, authenticians. Like me that say, Venice Queen slash authentician. Ali, queen Alicia slash authenticians. I saw me do my phone. I saw me do my little thing them for identify my people them. Then we go say, Yannick, Yannick, Les Brown, authentician. Because sometimes I put you spam and meet them at the conference. You understand what I say? Miss Latty, authentician, queen. Miss Miller, authentician. I saw my something say, my phone, king man. My daughter, great achiever. My mother, queen mommy. My sister, queen tia. My brother, king bro. My cousin, queen cousin. I saw me lecture out by something them and put them because me believe say all our kings and queens are your crown. It's not a man made crown. It's not a man made crown where you buy somebody to take off your crown in a 2005, you are king. 2006, you are queen. And the next time it come off, no, we are royal dignity, our crown can't expire. Your crown or your authenticity. Nobody cannot take that from you unless you give them that power. Because you cannot take off the crown there when you go sleep, you know. It go with you everywhere you go. I feel crown that. It's not a man made crown because I'm telling you this. The crown ain't worth a shit if the person wearing it is a fraud. Mm hmm. Mm, I feel I want there a while ago. I feel I want there a while ago in the in a, in a, in a, my afro, my father's afro. I feel it. Yes. Go out there boldly, confidently, spiritually, unapologetically, authentically, with integrity. Because you can't leave out your integrity, you know? You cannot leave out your thing. Because you know, so your integrity is tied to your authenticity, is really who you is. You can't leave out that part there. So you go out there and go with the divine presence where live within and know so you're not operate from nothing but who you are. You know who you are and you love and accept yourself for who you are irrespective of what society might say. When you go in our room, don't go with the flow. Be the flow. Be the flow. Turn heads. You don't care. And if I want bus, you yeah, jump out. And if I want bike, I want bicycle. Come off of the bicycle, you are confident. And so your self-confidence is not dependent on what you have. Because most person's qualification and achievement are attached. Sorry, most person's confidence are attached. And their identity is attached to their qualification and their achievements. Without them, who are they? You do not let go your confidence be attached to anything but knowing who you are and loving and accept yourself for who you truly is my authenticians you don't have to fit in so stop shrinking yourself for fitting into places that you don't belong of an authentic life god bless you and i salute the divinity in you all and salute the authenticity in you all Mwah.